Hi there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Cambridge Inside Out. I'm Robert Winters. Judy Nathans. Uh, you hesitated for a bit. Uh, are we I had to think a about it. I, I, I I, I've been coming up. I've been thinking of first names, but I can't think of the last names. And it comes to me 10 minutes later. So I'm not quite that bad. But yeah. All right. <laughs> no, I was I was making a joke on some Twitter post or something. Somebody oh, was yeah. making reference to climate change versus global warming. You know, oh. and I say, well, I don't know what the cultural arbiters are demanding we have to oh. say these days. And I signed it, Robert Nuclear Winters. Remember when he oh, used to talk about nuclear yes. winters? Yeah, I think so. it, what, I think you're right. It's climate change. You don't hear global warming. Well, you hear you hear both. I don't know. Well, I mean, because it, it was always a, an, an oddity because what happens yeah. if, if climate change causes it to be very cold on an otherwise warm day or... Oh, right. The you know, word warming some, is not quite Yeah, it, it assumes something which isn't always change. the case. Yeah. So basically, we're all in trouble. I mean, I will say that right now, but we're not, I'm doing we're not fine. going to live long enough. Thank well, you. <laughs> anyway. all right. yeah. okay. All right. So, so um, first thing I wanted to sort of kick off a uh, program yeah. tonight with is yeah. just an acknowledgement yes. of the fact, and I'll, I'll throw up a little graphic here in a second too, is okay. that we haven't talked in the last couple of programs so much about COVID-19 and the pandemic. Yeah. And the reason right. is, is because things have been bad. heading in such a wonderfully good direction. In our city. In, in our, our country, city, but, but the thing is but, mainly yeah. in our country, we are now over 50% vaccination yeah. Yeah. Uh, in this country, which is amazing to me, you know, that you can actually pull that off and, and everything seems to be working very effectively. There was uh, one reported uh, coronavirus infection uh, today in Cambridge. Zero yesterday. Actually, and usually there's actually zero today. It's just that oftentimes when you see an increase of one, it's because they're backdating, they're, there's, they're filling in the data. But doesn't that mean someone earlier. has to get tested in order to come up with that? Yeah, and it's, this, and it's true that there's a little not somewhat less gets testing tested. going on now. Yeah, yeah, but um, but it's 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 Still really good. something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and I've I've been getting some solace uh, over the past year in you know because I'm a math geeky kind of guy and yeah. watching the graphs and you know yeah. when they were like taking off I was like oh no you know and when they were easing off. All right, show know, us the graphs because I have a question about those graphs. Yeah, so yeah. so right. remember yeah. uh, once upon a time you used to hear about uh, uh, what's called flatten the curve. Yeah. Well, we are we are indeed flattening the curve at long last. Um, and each day, what I well, every few days, I'll actually change the scale a little bit here. So this is just about four hundred. So, but, but clarify the dates here. This starts April fifteenth. Yeah, I mean, there's a much longer version, which I'll show in a second. Right, because that but, to me um, is more telling. In but a way. Th this is basically yeah. more like the last, you know, couple months worth, just to okay. kind of see what the general pattern recently yeah. has been, uh -huh. and it is an absolutely clear uh, uh, flattening of the curve. I mean, it is almost leveling right now. Like right, but that's only for the past, if you can see it, it really right. didn't start flattening till uh, May. So right. So yeah. when okay, you look here. at seven day averages over yeah. the, from the very beginning of this like is the very, March this is what strikes me is that you had in April of 20 and then you go across to just, all right, December, it was equal to April yeah, and then there it was went a, way up just in January. It Look was the that. period of the great fear of April of 2020. It's going to peak at April 15th. And, it, you know, That's and then a after good that, point. and then it went way right. And it went yeah. down and we kind of passed through the summer all nice. And yeah, well, it was it was always there, but uh, it didn't go away. And then we had the worst of it, really, which was fall into well, winter. Yeah, well, especially indoor, winter. But it's, look at these dips. What accounted for these dips and then up again, which is interesting, I think, in the uh, you know, Good question. Thanksgiving, our, maybe Thanksgiving. Yeah, the holiday. I think, yep. you know, there are yep. different points of view about it, but I think sure. the yep. emergence of some of the variants is what caused right. the sort of the, the right. extra wave toward the end. February. And then yeah. it's just been sinking like a stone. Now, the big yeah. difference between it's sinking like a stone right now and when it's mm -hmm. sunk like a stone. Right. Uh, What's the know, difference? Late, we, the, the, the thing is, is that now we're over vaccinated. half of Americans right. are vaccinated right. and it's even higher rate in Cambridge, which means the likelihood of a resurgence uh, at the end of the summer is greatly, greatly diminished, if not eradicated. Right. So, However, as they, I just heard today, nine countries in the world have used 75% of the vaccines. And until we get the vaccines to all of these other countries, we're not out of the woods. I mean, yes, because, we can be more protected if somebody comes here, from, but right, still. Right, right. 
By the way, just the sort of the yeah. last couple of months uh, yeah. since the beginning of February, if you just stretch yeah. that out just to see the oh. general pattern, we're down to yeah. a current seven day average of 1.6. Oh, wow. Is this is an interesting fabulous. Thing. This goes from February. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you can kind of see how how sure. rapidly diminishing things are. Well, I'm you know? happy about it. I, I can't say that. I, I don't know. Have you been inside? Well, you never went out to eat. I don't think you ever did no, anyway. No, I've, I've been Jerry, out of Well, you I've go to a bar. Have you, have you been to a bar and had a drink? Yes. You have? Yes. Yeah. Recently? Okay. Uh, not too recently, but yeah. Well, not well ago, you yeah. couldn't have been a while ago because you couldn't go to a bar and have a drink. Um, I know. Well, I went to outdoor patios and things. That yeah. I'm saying indoors at a bar. All right. Look. All right. So Patrick bought me a drink or two at his bar. All okay. right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. I still want to. I know. I want to get to the dial of the outdoor thing. I love that. I right. Love that. So okay. and and anyway, it's 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 been delightful seeing people's faces. It has been oh, well, delightful that, seeing that the activity in like Central yeah. Square. Mm -hmm. Yep. You yep. know. Yep. I, I mean, it's just you know you can't beat it. You know. I no, had. A, that's a, a good point. And people, when people came, uh, I helped, I, I stored some um, stuff for a person who was moving uh, right, for the last few that, days. Yeah. And they came by today to pick up stuff in, in a pickup truck and, you know, just walking in the door, no masks, you know, oh, hey, yeah. how you doing, yeah. seeing faces, right. you know, it's were, really a celebration. There, do you still question whether someone's vaccinated or not, or, or you know people, so you know if they are. Um, you know, I, I think it's kind of on them. I know I'm vaccinated, yeah. so I don't right. worry. Right. And I, I hope that they understand that my lack of a mask suggests I'm probably vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, yeah. but anyway, it's, but it, I just think it's- No, there's time. definitely a change. It's nice. I just- um, And what a, what a joy it is to turn on a baseball game and just see all yeah, the all screaming the fans yeah. again, you know? That's I mean, true. it's- it's definitely some things to feel good about, you know. I'm, I'm Not, although I wouldn't say that about the Celtics, where you have fans throwing things. And well, that's a whole other matter. Yeah. That's true. I mean, that boy. So, yeah, well, that's they're going like to lose stuff. that yeah. playoff anyway. But yeah. okay, so let's get back to. Actually, let me say one other one other quick yeah. thing. I'm actually going to share the screen one more time because yeah. I told people this because sort of funny story, you know. I started writing Cambridge Civic Journal in uh, oh, okay. 1997. Yeah. Right. Right, so it's like almost a quarter century. I think oh, I am. It is, wow. it is. It is officially the oldest civic blog in the universe. I didn't know that. Nineteen. Yeah. No, it's wow. yeah. I think I think we got the record. Okay. Um, anyway, it's uh, um, it was it was interesting how uh, my a very dear neighbor of mine passed away in January, mm -hmm. and and I just decided right then and there, since my old 1979 bus was on its way out, that I was I wanted her car. I wanted to drive her car. And um, and I didn't even know what kind of car it was. Oh really? I, said, I don't care. Yeah, I didn't know what kind of car it was. It was right in the I driveway, right by your house. I, I no, never looked I at know. it, you know. And I didn't wow. know what year it was. I didn't know wow. what time it was. I just said I want to drive Allison's car. Wanted her car because it was hers. Yeah. I wanted to drive Allison's yeah. car. It was that simple, right? Yeah. Anyway, so just as it works out, so eventually, you know, bought it from the estate. Um, registered it now and you know it's got a Cambridge parking sticker on it now hey. but the funniest thing you know is yeah. I realized that it's a 2014 Civic yeah uh, and it was actually purchased uh, um, in Cambridge at the Honda so, Cambridge probably at the Honda Cambridge, yes, Cambridge Honda. So, See, it's right so what there. does it say on the back of my car <laughs> Cambridge Civic Isn't I that think something? that is so you know something <laughs> just come around and they just make so much isn't it great when that happens like serendipity yeah yeah, yeah. so it's the, the pure you. serendipity of it all yeah. and, and the you. fact that I it didn't even occur to me until I was you know I know driving the I car know. out and I, I said I looked at the back and I went Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> That's know. pretty funny, really. And so. I, I, I feel very um, honored that I was made made your last visit to your dear departed van. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is In true. Attleboro. <laughs> yes. So back on the civic okay. front. Um, All right. You know, yeah. there were a few things definitely to talk about. Yeah. But one thing before uh, getting into any of the what happened recently stuff is uh, just to say that there is one rather significant board, a city board and commission that's looking for members right now. Oh, right, I saw that. Yeah, wow. and that's the planning board. Who's and, leaving? Uh, I actually don't know, but I, I, I suspect, I have some suspicions. Okay. Who is, you know, there are a few uh, members whose terms have expired, but the, the expiration of a term in Massachusetts does not imply a person leaves the board. 
That's true um, of all of our boards, right? Because people just can yes. reapply and then they'll yeah. take some problems. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's in Massachusetts. Uh, I forget the, what the technical term for it is, but the thing is, is that if you no term limits. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, you continue yeah. to serve yeah. after expiration until such time as as you are reappointed or someone else has been appointed. Uh, oh, I thought you have to reapply because I know in the recycling advisory committee. Not necessarily. No. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, it's. It's really up to the city manager how the oh. manager wants to do it. Manager is the appointing authority, right? Right, but I thought so, all the boards operate the same way. Yeah, so there are a couple of members whose terms are expiring very soon. Mm -hmm. Two, I think, have already expired. Are these uh, three-year terms? They are um, five-year terms. Oh, the, okay, that's different. For the planning board. All right. Okay. Um, I think that's right. Yeah. I, I don't know. Anyway, so there are two alternates who I believe have expired, and I think there are two regular members who who are okay. whose terms are are ending. Um, I hope both of them continue. Actually, so it may well be one or both of the alternates. I really don't know. Um, but anyway, it'll be an interesting uh, statement I think about the city manager in some respects because the planning board is such a high profile. Okay, but stop uh, a second. Board these I'm days. confused. I thought that if they are interested in continuing, that they have preference over someone applying. No. No, I mean I think oh. just as as standards and practices. Okay, but can be chat or whatever. They yeah, I mean the person. manager okay. is under no obligation to uh, to reappoint anybody. But he usually uh, does, or they. They know, often do. It's just easier, yeah. and, and you know, and sometimes city staff will will basically give their feedback about it. But even that's a kind of a odd practice. Because I just have the assumption that someone is, doesn't want to come back. Which I'm pretty sure case. that's true. Yeah. yeah. OK. But but All you right. know, the thing is, the planning board is get, gets thrust into the midst of some of the most controversial things. Oh, it's these ridiculous. Days, oh, as does the Board of God. Zoning Appeals in some respects. Right. So it's the, very, the yeah. challenge really, at least from my point of view on the manager, is to yeah. of all the people who might apply, is right. to appoint somebody who is really is a neutral party, basically and a, that's an adjudicator. Be hard. I know. And and you know, I mean, I will personally judge the manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If the manager chooses to appoint somebody who's sort of activist in their orientation, regardless of which way, that's then that bad. that's something that will bother me. Because then know? it's going to become like the Supreme Court, which has now become political versus it should be yes very yeah. neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I think there are some people, I mean, we have in this all this discussion of possible charter change, mm -hmm. uh, we have a kind of a- uh, Which is tomorrow, activist, right? Isn't there that uh, Yes, that's right, charter there is meeting? hearing midday yeah. tomorrow. 11.30. It's really just, yeah. a, it's supposed to be a presentation, I believe, oh, okay. the, about charter review from the which Collins is, Which was, was available, I, I have it downloaded. Yeah, online. now that was supposed to, that was a meeting I believe was supposed to happen a week ago. It was, it was canceled. Cause I think there was another meeting right before it and it, who knows. It might've been that, but also as I pointed out, maybe yeah. to the embarrassment of some, and I don't know whether oh. this had any effect on it, okay. is that they had posted that there was a special meeting, but yeah. they gave no indication whatsoever as to the call of the meeting. And they're supposed to do that? They're supposed to have 48 hour oh. notice for that. So I, I don't know okay. whether that's why it was. It yeah, you was probably had some phone. influence. Okay, it's but, at 11 uh, 30, and then there's a two o'clock uh, committee meeting on Al Wife, and then there's a 5 30 ordinance meeting. Very busy day tomorrow. Right, right. But, but you know, some of the people who are angling for charter change, I think there's a lot. Uh, it, and, I, and I'm not happy about the process so far. I'm going to be real clear about that because okay. it seems to be maybe because of the pandemic, it's a little in the background, it's not as upfront. Uh, I did see some memo from the Collins Center people that said that some of the counselors want longer terms. In other words, they want to be, I would argue, less accountable. Long term, yeah. Yeah, they want yeah. to have make in four year terms rather than two year terms. Yeah. They would love to have more, uh, uh, more authority, more power to do things. So, so much of what the feedback from the current crop of counselors is it seems to be more toward give us more, more power. power and authority right. yeah. and one of the beautiful things really about the current charter has been the the insulation between the executive authority of the manager and the the policy making role that the city councilors are supposed to play apparently some councilors are not satisfied being policy makers they want to be able to snap their fingers and just make and also it you know if they if they wanted to change it so completely so that there'd be a an elected mayor instead of what we have now they could get that means someone could run for mayor that is detrimentally opposed to like the views of 
of, of counselors. Who knows? You know, you don't know a strong mayor is also can be issues. You can you can basically yeah. have a, a right. great um, friction between an elected exactly. mayor and the, right. the counselors. Right. As sometimes happens in the city of Boston, where the, oh, the city absolutely. councils are often right. kind of afterthoughts, right. and then the right. mayor is all powerful, right? Right. Unless it happens to be the city council president, well, I, I the do think mayor. <laughs> I, I it's true, mayor. but I do think their whole setup is they have a lot of uh, say. I think because there's more of them. There's at wide yeah. district. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So so anyway, um, I you know I kind of find a lot in my perspective. There's there is a real intertwining of some of the calls for charter change, yes. coupled with some of the dissension. Dissatisfaction with the recently. manager, right? Yeah, yeah, why can't we hire our own lawyer? Municipal uh, broadband, know. let's get it going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't know really where this whole boat is heading, but yeah. um, you know, but any substantial change won't happen until after the municipal election. But um, it seems like they're you know, something, something's being cooked up here. I'm not quite sure what, so. Well, okay. But anyway, I, I personally am going to look upon the planning board appointment very, yeah. as, as significant. Now is that, does the public have anything to do with that? No. No, no, no. I mean, well, other than the fact that the public can apply for it, you know, right. and I encourage any, you know, level-headed person with some expertise, preferably. Hopefully uh, some expertise either in law or, or real, I mean, you have to have some background in design, well, and, something, and, yeah. I mean, we yeah. have some architects. I mean, if an architect yeah. is leaving, I would hope an architect would come exactly. to place because I think having, a, a, insofar as uh, making decisions about special permit criteria and design right. guidelines and things True. like that, it's right. helpful right. to have that kind of expertise on the planning yeah. board. Um, if somebody's just there, basically, you know, as some of the alternate members have been lately, which are basically just advocates, um, then uh, you know that I don't really think we need that as much. I think we need adjudicators more. Can so an than alternate, um, if an alternate term expired, can they apply to be a full? Uh, absolutely, mm. absolutely, yeah, mm. yeah, and, and that's always a possibility. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, so that's that's what's sort of going on there. Yeah. So maybe we should uh, talk a little bit about. What's happened more recently at uh, yeah. city council meetings? Okay, the uh, last, yeah, the last one was well, they had to was, reschedule it. It was it was pretty contentious. Seven yeah. hours of public comment, right? Yeah, I mean um, the budget hearings are all done, uh, but for the uh, the vote on adoption and June seventh, is that right? I believe so. And yeah. uh, there's, um, you know, there's always the chance that you know some of the um, concerns expressed during the budget hearings right. might result right. in a minor amendment or two and or additional right. funding or some announcement or something right. prior yeah. to a budget vote. Uh, by the way, the budget adoption vote, though scheduled for June uh, uh, 7th, doesn't have to take place. It just has to uh -huh. happen before the end of the fiscal year. I see. So if somebody wanted to make some sort of stand, you know, supposedly a principal stand right. for defunding the police or for, yeah. You know, we're not going to move here, Mr. Manager, until you give us municipal broadband. That could happen you know, there. There could be some serious grandstanding yeah. that could delay it. But I mean, I, it's in all likelihood, okay. the five necessary votes are probably there to at least prove it. And and then um, they'll, the yelling and screaming will happen in, in the weeks to come. Well, we'll wouldn't see. they have already done that uh, disagreement at the budget hearings? Uh, for the most part, yeah. But the thing is, is that you know, budget hearing that whole process is one point, one of the very rare points in a in a fiscal year yeah. where the councilors have a little extra leverage. And yeah. and this is a group that I think wants more authority, more power, yeah. more leverage. So yeah, I wouldn't be and surprised. And it's an election year. Yeah. And it's an election year. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, I would uh, I fully expect that it will not be a nine zero vote on the right. budget. Well, that's true. Uh, you know, and we'll just see what happens uh, in a couple of weeks there. Oh, and, and also the manager, you know, the, if, if on the municipal broadband uh, thing, I think there may still be, they were putting out an RFP and then I think what they had pulled back or whatever for, you know, a, uh, a feasibility study for municipal broadband. So some of that may still get resolved even in the, before the, the hearing, we'll see. Um, I'd like to say something uh, and maybe you too about the, public comment, the seven hours of public comment, because I, you know, I try, I listen to some of it. Um, 
but I was sort of struck by how many people either were speaking for someone else or they weren't, had lived in Cambridge, they weren't anymore, or they were from Marblehead. They were from a lot of other groups because a lot of groups had called out their troops. I'm sorry. I, I mean, first of all, it, it is a very contentious issue. And I think it should and be- We're covered. talking about the Gaza resolution yeah. here, just to be well, clear. It wasn't just, well, it was, it was a Gaza whole, resolution and more- It didn't more, say Gaza, it was more about- No, there, there were actually two. There, oh, well, there no, was that, a, that to me was, but see, that was- That wasn't the controversial one. No, because that's congressional. And I feel like, yes, we do that very often. We take a stand on, on, on the legislation that's happening at a federal level, which is where it should be, because it's the administration that has to make some of these changes. It, this was the Eula Packard and the association, although they, you know, with BDS and all of that political right. stuff. I just feel it should be, when you see that there can be that many, you check, are you a Cambridge resident? Um, I won't go so far as to say you should be a voter, because, but hey, that's another story. But you should be a Cambridge resident. And, and, and then also how much, I mean, this is a global issue. I, ju I just felt like it went off the rails. And I feel like we're so- I agree. You know, we, we want so many people we want to be open to everyone's opinion. This was too much on both sides. Right. And so I, what's, does what's that happening? Sound like Trump, I hate to say that it's good. I, I didn't, <laughs> no, I didn't no, mean no, that. You no. know what I mean. I mean, no, I think I, there, there are and many. You know how I feel. I feel like since the last 50 years, I have felt like it, it is wrong what's going on in Israel in terms of taking territory. And, and let's face it, they they continued to start it by, by encroaching on, on territory that could be a second state and some people don't want that at all and whatever but i just feel like there's got to be some decorum here and some protocol of who gets to speak i don't want someone who lives somewhere else speaking taking time up when we have but, so many issues here that we should be addressing i agree completely. i just i have to get that but, out I no i agree completely that. um but i think it's kind of part of a, a growing yeah. problem i, I see know. it as a problem which yeah. is that they're now interest groups who are viewing uh, public comment via Zoom so you can phone it in, you don't actually as, show as, up. Right, to be it's every like, issue that's political, progressive or whatever yeah. affecting everybody. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just like a political stage now. Uh, and yeah. there's every incentive to take national issues and just turn them into you know, center stage uh, at a city council uh, it public It just wasn't period. appropriate. It just, it just, I mean, well, every, and I'm not putting down, uh, the statements were, heartfelt they were i mean everything it just felt like this was not the place wasn't the place. not for this right. particular right issue or, yeah. or, so, or, or so, policy order let's put it right, right there. now from a political point of view so yeah. so let's just say you are a person who's trying to get attention you're an incumbent counselor and yeah. you want to get more and more attention to appeal to a particular constituency in, in advance of a municipal election yeah. So yeah. what does that mean? Does it mean you're going to basically go scouting around? Let's let's say, oh, here's a good issue that'll bring out lots oh, of that, people. Oh, it wasn't that. Oh, news. come on, you make it sound very uh, planned like that. I don't think that was that that way at all. No, but I'm just saying is that in, for subsequent meetings. For, for sub. Right? Oh, I see. We said right? yes. Yeah, so yeah, the thing yeah, is, if yeah, you if yeah. you feel that like turn, getting it on uh, uh, you know national press. Yeah, you know, or newspaper oh, articles, oh, yeah. even in oh, the yeah. Boston Globe, and how would you, how do you want to generate the free, you know, some well, free yeah. press coverage? Yeah. Well, basically, just you know, throw some meat to the lions, you know, and yeah. and uh, and you'll have a a great controversy, and the press will follow it, you know. And I mean, it used to be when we have things at City Hall, you kind of knew something was going when um, one of the networks would show up with the big TV cameras and right. show up in the Sullivan Chamber. Yeah. Well, now you don't actually know because you're not going to see any cameras because it's all done in Zoom. But, yeah. you know, it's a similar kind of phenomenon that's happening now. You what know? happened? Now, you might remember this because remember the it was, what, 25 years ago, more the nuclear disarmament. Didn't Cambridge become famous for it? We had a whole pamphlet. We, I, I had one. Larry somebody, right? Uh, remember the name? Larry Weinstein. Was yeah. it Weinstein? I, well, someone else. No, no, Larry Weinstein was uh, with school right. committee. Right, it was not Larry not Weinstein, wrong. it was somebody else. I know, I, I know exactly. They Cambridge Port. You, and it, it I was, didn't know there was going to be a pop quiz, Judy, so I- All I, right, I, I no, but on. my point is, did that, didn't that become something- really David big? Wiley, David Wiley. That's who it was. You're That's right. right. And so the thing is, that was- that? Actually, What was that? Well, the thing is, it was uh, Cambridge as a nuclear, uh, you right. know, Target free, free zone, make it a nuclear free zone. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And he actually did write some of his um, political campaign materials 
that very much centered on that. There was one famous oh, he, one. It was wait, like he ran, bullseye. So, so he ran for the, I didn't realize he was running for the seat. He was a, he was actually a city okay. councilor. Yeah. All right. I'm all right. I've got to look that up later because I'm thinking of something. Yeah. I don't know why the word Larry sticks right. in my head, but but, but right. you know there is some okay, history. So this isn't a brand new phenomenon. Of, no, no, of, absolutely of, right. Of yeah, having a, a right. national scale right. issue become right. part of okay. you know sort of essentially right. political promotion. Yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah. I mean, in some respects, other than the fact that. The, the defund the police business is happening in so many oh, other places. Well, well see that, that could, and we'll you know, go into that more in the next half hour right. because you, that's exactly right. Right. If Cambridge right. makes a big stink about that, then we're just one of a hundred cities that are doing it. So the national press aren't necessarily going to come to Cambridge. Right. On that one, right. You know? right. 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 So, right. Uh, okay. but you know, yeah. but it's it's. Um, I mean, I'm I'm kind of a, a fan of the boring stuff, quite honestly. To me, you know, civics is not necessarily all razzmatazz and controversy whatever it's basically how no. do you run a city and, and right. make it run well right you right. know so i pay attention to a lot of the minutiae it's true right. um you know so but but there's a different point of view which is that right. you know let's let's sort of go for the you know if it le if it bleeds it leads type of stuff well you know? yeah and then with social media now and the internet and everything yeah everything. yeah yeah so, so this is our last minute of this segment so um should we talk about what we're gonna say in the next segment or uh it was mainly i would Love to talk a little bit about some of the yeah. other items that were on the yes. agenda. The that you know, are there's, not, there's not too certainly. much to say about the Gaza stuff. You know, it's sort of no. said that. maybe I'll say a, a thing or two more. But uh, it's uh, there were in addition to the 527 people mm -hmm. who showed up last Monday. Yeah. Uh, there was also the many many people who were there the week before, prior to the oh yeah definitely being, uh, right that's right because right. it was charter right which brought out more people yeah exactly right. exactly so um okay so anyway more to say about that yeah and uh so we'll uh we'll take a break out here for a couple minutes and we'll be back and uh, shortly we'll be on back Cambridge shortly. Inside Out. hi <laughs> 